Is this the way to a clean future? Or does it suck? The Roomba 890 is the latest of iRobot's mid-range 800 series robot vacuum cleaners. It comes with a charging base station and one virtual wall barrier. When it's finished cleaning, you can empty the bin with a simple press of a button. Uh, okay, it's actually stiff as hell. But it's a nice bin though, very well designed, with a filter pre-installed and a spare in the box. To set up your new pet, you hit the power button, put him on his charger, hold the top and bottom buttons together for about three seconds, and the Wi-Fi symbol will light up. From there, the Roomba app will take you through the brief setup process. Thanks for bringing the Roomba vacuuming robot into your home. Welcome to the iRobot family. We're sure you're eager to get started, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. To run a cleaning cycle, it's a simple one button press, or you can run it remotely from your phone, even if you're not at home. Now that's cool. And we're off. I like that it has a handy little brush to get dirt out from the edges and the corners of the room. And its super slim profile makes it low enough to get under almost all my furniture. It knows when it's near the edge of something that it might fall off, so no need to worry about coming home to a suicide scene after work. The app is actually useful, letting you start and stop the cleaning and sending you alerts like when the bin is full, or the Roomba is stuck on something. The virtual wall barrier is a really useful tool. My old robot vacuum cleaner, the Nido, came with a comparatively primitive roll of magnetic ribbon. The Roomba's barrier feels like a big step forwards. It's supposed to detect spills and areas of debris and pay more attention to them, but it didn't seem to work for me. In fact, it never did find its way back to this sugar spill by itself. Not to worry though, by pressing the spot clean button, you can get it to focus on one particular area rather than doing the whole room. It's quiet compared to the old Nido, and it does a really good job of cleaning, wherever it goes. But the key words here are wherever it goes. You see, where I think the Roomba still needs a lot of work is with its navigation. Despite all its futuristic features, the slick design, and the smart technology that powers it, when you really watch how it behaves, it doesn't really seem all that smart to me. It seems to find its way around your home by simply bumping into things and going off in another random direction until it bumps into something else and changes direction again. It bumps into literally everything on purpose. It's just not smart enough to be able to see the room and plan out an efficient course. It's like a blind man playing bumper cars. And I get its methodology. Bounce around randomly for an hour or two and you're bound to clean at least most of the space. But it's this random navigation that makes it terribly inefficient. Going over the same area three or four times while missing other spots entirely is just not an efficient use of time and energy. What should only take half an hour takes three times that and it still doesn't vacuum every spot. Sometimes it'll go into one room, vacuum two square feet, then leave that room and head to the opposite end of the house and start cleaning there, only to go back to the other end again, wasting valuable battery power along the way. By comparison, the Nido maps out the room intelligently and cleans it in a methodical, efficient way. 
Roomba have been in this business for a really long time and I just don't understand why they still use such a primitive type of navigation. Roomba, have you got yourself stuck again? Okay, you can do this. Left. Yeah. No. No. Right. No. Right. Back. No, that's forwards. Oh, come on. Open your eyes. Yes! Good job, Roomba. Now come this way. This way? No, no, Roomba! Oh, for Christ! And not only does it get stuck under tables, but sometimes it gets trapped in a room, even though the door is wide open. It was at this very moment that I knew. I would never see the robot again. While it was in that bedroom, it decided it had finished the cleaning cycle and it was time to head back to the base station. And it stayed in that small bedroom, randomly bouncing off walls and furniture for 47 minutes trying to find the way out. And then it ran out of battery and died. So don't expect it to be able to find its way back to the charger unless it's right in front of it. And even then, half the time, it still can't find it. Okay, you're going the right direction, sort of. Left, left. <sighs> Try again. Okay, it's just over there to your right. Where are you going? Roomba. No, it's not in the kitchen. What was that? Bump and bump and bump again. It's to your left, Roomba. No, I don't have it. And it's not in the hallway. Where are you going? Don't go in the bedroom. Don't go in the bedroom. Remember what happened the last time you went in the bedroom? Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, this way. Yep, that's it. Come on. No, don't go in the bedroom. No, Roomba. No, Roomba.